Hi Quaker Valley families, this is Leah Linden Felser again back with another counselor tip this week. Um, and in this moment, I feel like all of us, both kids and adults alike, are finding moments where we might be overwhelmed, stressed, worried about things, which is totally natural. But I wanted to share with you some deep breathing techniques that might be helpful to relieve some of that anxiety. So I'm going to teach you two um, deep breathing strategies. One I use primarily with kids, uh, and the second one can be for anybody. So the first one that I wanted to teach you is called square breathing. And so square breathing is what I use as an adult. I use it all the time. Um, and I find this most beneficial for adults. And kids can use it too once they learn. But how I started to use um, square breathing is using this wonderful little graphic that I'm going to show you. And it's on a website called destressmonday.org. Um, and you can even just Google search square breathing and it will come up. And so what I wanted to show you and how I'm going to explain it to you is through this graphic of a square. So what we do is we follow the ball and as it goes up, we hold our breath for four seconds and then we breathe in for four seconds, we hold it for four seconds, and then we exhale for four seconds. So I'm going to do it with you right now. So we're gonna hold two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, hold that breath for two, three, four, and then we're going to exhale, two, three, four. And what I like about this graphic is that it keeps on moving. So you can do it over and over again. And when you're breathing, you want to be sure that you're breathing in through your nose. And you can breathe out through your nose or you can breathe out through your mouth. But the most important thing is that you're breathing in through your nose. So I love square breathing. I've been using it for a number of years. And it's really important when you start to feel overwhelmed, whatever your body signal is for that. For me personally, it's when my chest starts to tighten because I'm starting to feel anxious or overwhelmed or stressed out, I start do, doing deep breathing. And it's also great if you're just driving in the car. You don't need the graphic, you just breathe in for four seconds, you hold it for four seconds, you breathe out for four more seconds, and then you hold for four seconds. So that is square breathing. That is a very helpful deep breathing strategy for me even personally. Another one that I want to teach you is one that I use often with kids, and we call it a number of things. I call it five finger breathing. Uh, you can call it hand breathing. You can call it a number of things, but why we call it five finger breathing is we use our hand, very similar to the square, but we use the outline of the hand, and why it's important is because a child will always have their hand with them if they're starting to feel worried about something, and we can just say, I need you to do your five finger breathing, and they can just put out their hand, and what we do is, as we trace our hand, as we go up a finger, we breathe in, and as we go down our finger, we breathe out. And then we breathe in. And we breathe out. And we go all the way around our finger. And the child can do that one time. Maybe they need five times. But however many times they have need it, it's always there for them. So that is another deep breathing exercise. I hope you find these deep breathing exercises helpful. I have always found them helpful as well. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. And please continue to check Quaker Valley's website at www.qvsd.org for updated information. Thank you so much. Stay safe, Quaker Valley.